Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. It's time for another toy hunt. I'm sitting outside of Walmart here in Southgate. We're going to go ahead inside and see what's new. We're going to then go to Ross, also here in Southgate. Uh, last time we went to Ross, they didn't really have much in stock, so let's see if they stocked up on some things. Afterwards, we're going to do Target in Southgate. Then we're going to do uh, Ross in Downey. We're going to try the Walmart in Downey, even though it has the glass. Just to see what's different and then we're gonna wrap up with target in norwalk so we get a full day ahead of us let's not waste any more time and let's get on into the hunt all right first off on the tour we got walmart here in southgate i like this walmart it doesn't have the glass it's accessible they have a consistent stock um and yeah let's just head inside and see what they got on sale What's different? What's going on? Jurassic. All right. First things first, we're going to stop by the Imaginex. See if they got anything on sale, anything different. I doubt we'll find anything different, though. They have this bumpy. Has, I kind of wish this tail would light up. As you can see, it's kind of translucent. If it would have been cool if it had a little light that sh shine, it wouldn't make sense, but it would have been cool. Then we got the... Is this a Giganotosaurus? Yeah, it's a Giga. The Giga that lights up the eye. I prefer the Draco Rex. Oh, this, this is not it. Where is it? Oh, they don't have it here. Okay. They have an Apotosaurus from the Danger Pack here, kind of thrown around. Underneath, we have the trio of Alan, Ellie, and Malcolm with the Jeep and a three fingered Rex. I don't know why they did that. That's my only gripe with that set. Then we have this car that we press a button. It's got damage action or headbutting action, I mean. Underneath, we have the Dilophosaurus. This one's cool because it lights up. I really like this Dilophosaurus. Too bad it's so expensive. And lastly, lastly, we have this uh, lab laboratory set. Um, somebody told me in the comments what dinosaur this was. They said it's the Beckled Spinax. I didn't recognize it as the Beckled Spinax. So that's cool. And then it has a Henry Wu figure, which is also cool. All right, from here, let's head on over where they have the Mattel toys and see what is going on there. All right, at the Mattel section, starting off, we got the Beckle Spinax here. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, makes sound. That's cool. Uh, let's see what's in the back of the Beckle Spinax. They have the Bahadasaurus and the, oh, I forgot that one. Was it called Mokosaurus, something like that? I just made up a name. Anyways, we have the Dino Smashing Squish. This is the Pyroraptor one. The label tells you what dinosaur is inside the egg, in case you're wondering. We have this uh, Atrocimaster Master. Atrociraptor mask, does it make sound? It makes sound. That's a cool mask. Uh, I think it's called Ghost, the Atrociraptor. Then we have a Monjungasaurus Major here. That one's cool. Ceratosaurus. I love playing with these toys. We got a bunch of minis here. A bunch. Some people have opened them, I see. Trying to see what they get. That sucks. I don't like that people do that. That's very, very rude and messed up. It's not very supportive of the community. Uh, Majungasaurus Major again. Then we have the Gastonia. This one I don't see that often. So this one's a cool one to find. Uh, black and white. Usually when I find the Gastonia, I only see like one of them on the shelves. How many do we have here? Oh, it seems like we only have one of them on the shelves. Then we have the Parasaurolophus here, which makes sound and lights up. That's cool. And then we have the Rawisukas. I haven't seen that one. I don't think so. Then we have Gallimimus here. And behind that, we have uh, Craterosaurus or Craterosaurus. Underneath that, we have some color change captives, a uh, three pack. Oh, this is cool. This one I haven't seen. I don't think I recall seeing this one at all. But we got the Chaos Theory Dimorphodon from the Danger Pack. This is a cool coloring. I like the coloring on this. Nice, nice. Uh, what else do we have here? And we have another Rawi Sukas. Over here, we got the remote control. T-Rex. This is a cool one. Can I play with it? I can't play with it because it's not working. I guess it's out of batteries. Can I play with this one? Oh, I guess they can't be played with. Boo! Then over here we have the all-out T-Rex. I love this one. 
cool robot. And then underneath that, we have Galmimus and then Bahadasaurus in the back. Um, over here, we got the camouflage in Dominus. This one's cool. I love the coloring. Again, like I said before, I'm holding now that they make an Indominus for Hammond Collection. Oh, it's called a Mapuceratops. I mean, Mapusaurus, not a Makusaurus. I don't know why it's a Ceratops. I was thinking Triceratops for some reason. Anyways, yeah, I'm kind of holding out for Indominus Hammond Collection and a Spinosaurus Hammond Collection because those would be cool. It seems like every time I buy a toy that's not Hammond Collection, uh, a couple weeks later they release a Hammond Collection, so I'm just waiting now. That's a Baryonyx, and here is the Allosaurus. This is a cool one. I have it in this pose where it looks like it's roaring. I really like that pose. Then we got some surprise eggs for color change captives. And then a bunch of plushies. And that seems to be it for this Walmart here in Southgate. They have quite a lot of stock. I'm enjoying this, this store. I'm enjoying this stock. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. We got a walking dinosaur. This is not Jurassic. But this is cool. All right, let's conclude the video and move on. All right, continuing the tour, we got Ross dressed for less here in Southgate. Like last time I came to a Ross, I didn't really find much Jurassic. It's been a couple weeks, I think, or a week and a half or so. And it's time to see if anything is different, if anything is new, if anything is cheap. These are cute shoes. So I'm gonna have to drown out the background music with my own music because it's kind of loud here. Let's see what we got Jurassic Wise. Oh, Jurassic Wise, right, right away. We got Alan Grant with the Stegosaurus. And this one, how do you play with this one? You twist and it kind of gets twisted tail. Okay, that's cool, we found one. How much is this? $4.99, not a bad price. All right, so they got one thing. Over here we have the Therizinosaurus with Owen. This one kind of just dances. How much is this? $4.99. Now, last time I came to Ross, I think I did find a couple of these. So I, I did find a couple of Jurassic things. It was just not very much. Then we have the Dino Ranch, which reminds me of the little people. I prefer the little people. I think they're cuter than Dino Ranch. Over here, let's see, let's see. We got Stranger Things. What do we got for Stranger Things? Don't know who that is. Um, let's see, what else, what else? I'm not seeing anything else Jurassic, but you never ever know. It could just pop up at any moment. Let's look at behind us, what do we got going on here? So we got another Therizinosaurus set here, and another, so they got quite a few of these. That's cool, well, I don't know if it's cool to see that they still have them, I mean, they're not selling. That's unfortunate, right? You want to see things sell. You want to see things leave the shelves and enter homes. Anyways, uh, pop-up game. We got some sma Dino Smasher eggs. Oh, that seems to be it here. Not seeing anything else that stands out to me. One more time behind me. What do we got going on? Ooh, look at that. They got a, a switch case for Sonic. Oh, that's cool. I have a Jurassic Park switch at case, of course. All right, all righty, all righty. And over here, anything? No, 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 no. <laughs> Has a cool face. Kind of like depressed looking. Check out the pink toys real quick. Pink toys, what do you got for me? What do you got for me, pink toys? Absolutely nothing. All right, so... Ross still hasn't changed much. Still the same place with the same limited quantity of toys. I want to try to come every couple weeks to see if anything changed. Just do an update. Um, from here, we're going to go to Target here in Southgate. And then we'll continue the tour in Downey and Norwalk. All right. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Headband Junior. I found one of these for Jurassic at Five Below. I've been wanting to play it. I just keep forgetting about it. But I just wanted to point that out. It looks like a cool game. Kind of reminds me of that game with the phone where you hold up the phone and you have to like guess what you are. So that, yeah, it just reminds me of that. All right, now let's move on. So a uh, quick recap before we go to Target here in Southgate. That Walmart was pretty busy. The aisles were pretty populated. So it took me a while to get to where I wanted to go and see what I want to see. Something I wanted to point it out that Walmart was not the toys, but was a person 
I don't know if you heard in the background towards the end of the clip for Walmart that somebody was asking me if I like dinosaurs. I didn't know they were asking me a question after they were talking to somebody else, so I was ignoring them. And I felt really bad when I realized they were talking to me. I was a little kid. Uh, they recognized me from uh, one of my videos, and they just wanted to talk to me. <laughs> and I felt bad because I thought he was talking to somebody else, and I was ignoring him. My mistake. I feel a little bad. Yeah. Anyways, they had quite a bit of stock. So they had uh, two figures I don't see that often, which is... The, 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 the Gastonia and Dimorphodon and then there's a Caprusuchus or something, Carosuchus or whatever. Whatever that one was called. Yeah, so uh, I think it was a Suchus. I can't recall the last one that I saw. But yeah, we saw some different toys that we haven't seen that often. As for Ross, Ross, they didn't really have much. I just wanted to see if anything has updated, if anything has changed. It doesn't seem like anything has changed. They just have the Imaginex toys. Uh, we're gonna go back to Ross in a couple of weeks and just see if there's anything different to update with. From here, let's head over to Target in Southgate, maybe get something to drink at Starbucks and continue the tour. Next stop on the tour, we got Target here in Southgate. I tend to like this Target. They have a consistent stock. Everything's easily accessible and eh, decently maintained. Not well maintained, decently maintained. Uh, as in things are not thrown all over the floor and stuff. But we're going to head inside and see what's going on with the Jurassic Isle. Maybe something is different. Who knows? As we approach the Jurassic section at this area dedicated to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They got Fungo Pops and a bunch of turtle stuff. But let's head on over to Jurassic section. See what's going on here. Oh, they still have the Ben pack. I noticed that they don't really have Darius packs anymore. Yes, they all seem to be Ben. Yeah, they're all Ben. Anyways, we have the Parasaurolophus, the Ceratosaurus, I mean, Majungasaurus, almost like Giganotosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus. We have the in Indoraptor with the light up eyes. This one's cool. Uh, at one point, I was tempted to pick it up, but I changed my mind. Then we have the Mapusaurus, whatever I was calling it over at uh, Ross it was, or in the car or whatever, was not correct. It's the Mapusaurus, not the Mokosaurus, like I was calling it. Anyways, we got some minis here. Some mini love. These are cute. They got the camper, set for Brooklyn. If you watch Chaos Theory, you know why. They have a Beckel Spinax, Allosaurus, some Atrociraptors. A lot of dinosaurs in this set. 20 minis for $30. Not a bad deal if you're into minis. And then we have a Beckel Spinax back here. Roar. We have a bunch of Claire Deerings. This one is, seems to not be moving, unfortunately. Over here we have the Island or Isan Sorna Expedition Pack with Dieter Stark. I think this is a cool set. I love the likeness on Dieter. Underneath this we have the truck. Doesn't really do much except capture dinosaurs with the fork thing. This one kind of reminds me of the Hummer from um, the Lost World Jurassic Park because there was a toy that had a fork in front for the Lost World Jurassic Park. And the, you press the button and the uh, two sides of the fork close in on the dinosaur. It was cool. This seems to be like a nod to that or something. Anyways, underneath we got the camouflage and battle and Dominus Rex. And then, oh, they added more. I don't recall seeing this many of the 93 classic real field T-Rexes. So it's kind of cool that they added more, if that's the case. That's a long roar, right? Over here, we have the super colossal Allosaurus. This thing is huge, it's beautiful. I'm excited for the Hammond Collection Allosaurus. I slept on the pre-order window. I, I just wasn't fast enough. I, I thought I had time and when I went on Target, pre-orders were sold out, but I'm expecting to find it on shelves eventually. You just gotta keep doing these toy hunts, right? Anyways, we've got the Hammond Collection Therizinosaurus, which is a really cool figure, I really like it. And then we got the Mosasaurus over here. Uh, this is for the Epic Evolution line. I think this is a cool figure. The Mosasaurus is an awesome creature. They, they really did it well in the lot. I mean, in Jurassic World, I really liked it. And underneath, we got some more Mosasaurus. And what else? What else? What else? And we got the 93 Collection Dennis Nedry Track and Chase Pack with the Raptor. That one's a cool one. And we got some Kong toys here. Some more Kong Kong. That's Minions. That's not Kong, but Kong Kong Kong. All right. From here, we're going to head over to uh, Downey's Walmart and Ross 
and see if anything there is eventful. All right, continuing the tour, we got Ross Dress for Less here in Downey. I'm not expecting to find anything new or different. It seems like Ross hasn't restocked yet, but a couple weeks from now, I'll come back and see if anything has changed. But for now, let's see what they have in stock for us. Here we're starting on the pink toys. They got the Witcher. I haven't seen the show. I played some of the game, but I haven't seen the show. I've been wanting to for a while. I keep putting it off. I put off a lot of shows. I prefer watching movies. Anyways, they got this Tony Hawk Hot Wheels skate set. It's aquarium skate park. It's kind of cool. Looks interesting. They got this uh, thing. This thing was making noise earlier, and I don't know how to activate it. It was just making a bunch of noise. But moving on, we got some Minecraft up here. What do we got for Jurassic, I wonder? Some Funko Pops. Funko, Funko, Funko. More pink toys. Pink toys. Oh, is this the same company that makes the dinosaurs? Those dinosaurs that come in eggs? I think it might be. But let's see, Zuru. If I find another egg, I'll, I'll make a comparison. Uh, let's see, we got Peach here from the movie, the Marlboro's movie. Fluffy clouds. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing Jurassic stuff. So this might be another Ross that just hasn't restocked. But we'll see. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. I'm also not finding those eggs. Out, I want to compare them and see if they're the same company. But I'm not seeing them. Anyways. Oh, what's this? We have a Velociraptor Fierce Changer. $2.99. Ooh, am I, I might pick that up. Is there any more? No? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's something else. Here's something else. We have... A Gigantosaurus pop up. Hmm, I might pick these up actually. Oh, uh, here's some other surprise eggs in the same company, Zuru. Zuru. So it might be the same company that makes the dinosaur eggs. Might be. Not 100% sure. Over here we have more toys, but let's see what we got going on. Avatar, Pokemon, Ninja Turtles, Sonic. Lots of Sonic underneath, Turtles, a truck. Not seeing any more Jurassic here. We got some we got some books. books, books, books. Not looking for books. Um Yeah, we got more pink toy. Oh hold on, hold on, here's another one. What do we got here? What do we got here? We have Therizinosaurus. I might pick these up actually. Do we have any more of these here? I wonder. Oh, here's another one. Then we have a Trociraptor. Neat. All right, let's set these aside. Because we're probably going to pick these up. And let's check out the toy shells over here. Maybe they have more Jurassic that I just overlooked. But yeah, that's cool. We found some mini stuff. I want to pick some of those up. Those might be fun. I don't know which one of those I have, but whatever I do have, I'll just either take it out of the package or just leave it in the package and help on the wall. I don't know. But that seems to be it for Jurassic here at this Ross. I just want to double check. All right, let's go buy our toys. Out of curiosity, after leaving Ross and finding those uh, pop-ups and those uh, fierce changers and such, I wanted to stop by Burlington. You see, what's going on with them? Have they restocked with anything or is it the same old stuff? I'm curious, so I want to head inside and take a quick look before we go to Walmart. Let's see what's going on in the toy aisle. Right now, right off the bat, I see a lot of Ninja Turtles and cars and stuff. Let's get into the aisle itself. We got Ninja Shouts Turtle. How do you play with these? This one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. I gotta remove this. Okay, I'm gonna remove one. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that, but he says, are you guys Tom and Kawabunga? That's cool. All right, what else we got going on? Uh, all new dinos, but those aren't Jurassic. Um, oh, they got little baby turtles. These are cute. These are cute. I like these. Behind here, we have a remote control T-Rex, I think. Maybe it's not remote control, but it sure is ugly. 
We got TLC, T Boss. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Uh, we got these generic dinosaurs in the bucket. I have quite a few of those in my collection. Not from this this set. I just have a bunch of those dinosaurs scattered around. Yeah, this cool Indiana Jones set from the Raiders of the Lost Ark. The quality on them are hideous. Look at that. What is that? Oh my God! Look at look at Indy. What is that? Indy, what's wrong with you? You look like bewildered. This guy pooped himself. This guy's uh, he ate something and sold over his face. And yeah, weird toys. No wonder they're on clearance. Um, okay, over here, more turtle love, more turtle love. Let's see. We got some Batman stuff here with Killer Croc. Oh, interesting looking Killer Croc. We got this cool playset for Mario. Underneath, we got Spider Man, Minecraft, keyboard. Well, I'm not seeing anything Jurassic wise, so maybe they haven't added anything new lately because I'm not really seeing it. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, let's just wrap up this door and head over to Walmart. So let's see. I don't even see the bubble wands. I was hoping they would restock on bubble wands because they had a Jurassic one that I liked, but it was damaged and I didn't want to get a damaged one. So I don't think they're going to restock on those. <laughs> Anyways. That seems to be it for Burlington. Nothing, absolutely nothing that I see. But we're gonna, there's still one more, one more shelf left. So good chance to go Spider-Man. And let's check it out. Yeah, Wish, Try Me. I don't know. Over here, we got ourselves pink toys. Pink toys galore. Lots of pink toys. Okay, my curiosity is satisfied. I'm not coming back here for a few weeks, but uh, yeah, it was nice just to come and see what they got. Let's head over to Walmart. Second to last stop, we got Walmart here in Downey. This is the Walmart with the dread glass. This is the Walmart that they don't help you right away. I come here for groceries, but I don't like to come here for toy hunting because of that reason. But enough complaining, let's head inside and see if anything has changed or is it the same old stock as always. So Zuru is a company that makes those dinosaur egg toys and they also make mini brands. Something my uh, nephew used to like, I'm not sure if they still like it. But let's move on to Jurassic stuff, Jurassic stuff. What do they got going on here? We got Beckel Spinax here, Majungasaurus Major, Genial Dectoceras. This one hasn't sold, I see it here like every time I come. And they never sold this Genia Dectoceras. I almost feel like buying it, but it's not on sale, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna get it. And then we have a Potosaurus here. That's a cute one. And then we got, oh, I haven't seen this one often, and now I'm seeing it everywhere, the Dimorphodon. That's cool, let's just spot it on the shelves. Underneath, we got the, how do you pronounce this? Rawi Sukas. That's the one I was trying to mention earlier, and I couldn't remember what it was called. I thought it ended with Saurus. No, it ends with Sukas, as I first thought. Anyways, we got, the Mosasaurus down here, the Indominus Rex down there, Baryonyx, and we got Allosaurus, and the Spinosaurus. This is a cool one. The coloring is cool, and the damage feature is nice. I wish I wish I could play with it, but yeah, it's, it's a cool one. If you've been watching my toe hunts, you uh, see me play with one of these, and I, I like it. I'm just not going to get it. Uh, and then we have the Rumble Cage, which is really cool. It, it lights up, it makes sound, it shakes, and it comes with the T-Rex inside. Again, I can't play with it. And that seems to be it for Jurassic here at this Walmart. They got some things up here, but doesn't seem to be anything different or that I haven't seen before. Let's go check out the Imaginex and see what's going on there. I like coming to the little kid aisle for the Imaginex because it's a brand, a uh, line that I don't really see mentioned much by Jurassic fans online. And it's a brand that I do enjoy. They have those cool glass eyes that just follow you wherever you go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And the figures themselves, they're pretty well done. I mean, look at that blue. Not bad. For a little kid toy, not bad. And then we have the truck. This truck is fun now. I didn't like it before. Now I like playing with it. I'm weird. Uh, we got, let's see, Sticky Moloch. Sticky Moloch. They're all Sticky Molochs. Okay, we got the uh, Velociraptor, the uh, Pyroraptor with the capture gear. Bow. 
And then we got the Dilophosaurus here that makes sound and lights. It's a cool one. Isn't that cool? And underneath, or beside that, we have Dr. Wu with the uh, Beckel Spinex that somebody pointed out in the comments. All right. So I just wanted to see if there was anything different with uh, Imaginex. Again, that's a line that I don't see talked about much by Jurassic fans. Um, mostly they focus on Mattel. But um, yeah, let's hit over to Target and wrap up the tour. Final stop on the tour, we got Target here in Norwalk. I like this Target. It kind of reminds me of the one in Southgate. They have to ha they have a quite a bit of stock and their aisles are uh, decently maintained. Not too much of a mess. But we're going to head inside and I'm not expecting to find discounts because we didn't find many at the other Target. But I just want to see what's different between these two Targets and maybe they have something cool. So here on the little aisle island thingy, they have a mess of things. So it seems like my comment about this Target being better uh, maintained is kind of goes out the window. But they had the Mamenchisaurus here kind of thrown around on top of the Beckel Spinax. Interesting how they get thrown around. But behind me... We got ourselves the Jurassic Offerings. They have a bunch of Chaos Theory, as you can see. They have that mask I like to play with that lights up. So let's go through them one by one. We got Pachyrhinosaurus here, makes sound. We got Parasaurolophus that lights up, makes sound. This one doesn't make sound, but it's still cool. The Bahadasaurus. Yeah, that one's cool, I like it. Oh, there. And then we got the Ben Escape Pack. Are they all Ben's? Oh, no, no, no. Is it? Oh, yeah, they're all bents. Never mind, never mind. I thought there was a Darius. Over here, we have the Mapusaurus. I can't believe I called the Moco. What was it? Mocosaurus before? <laughs> that was funny. We got the Real Field T-Rex from the 93 Classic Collection. It roars, makes noise. It's a really cool figure. I like it. And then have behind it, we got the Indoraptor that lights up and makes sound. But this one, uh, I forgot how to activate it. There you go. Lights up, makes sound. We got Therosinosaurus for Hammock Collection here. Again, the one I don't see that often is the Giganotosaurus. That one seems to be selling like hotcakes. Is that the phrase? Is that the, the saying? Anyways, we got ourselves the Allosaurus here. The chomping action. Super colossal Indoraptor with that cool paint job. I love the paint job on the Indoraptors. And then we got indominus rex with the light up and um uh, camouflage feature and underneath we have the t-rex yellow and black with ray arnold for the off-road tracker pack uh for the 93 classic collection and then wrapping up we got Dieter stark here and what else do we have oh and claire deering can't forget about claire deering yep they're all claire's not really selling unfortunately and then we got some um King Kong love here, some Kong Godzilla. I know some of you guys like to collect Kong and Godzilla. I love the movies. Uh, I'm not a crazy fan. I just like watching them. That's pretty much it. Anyways, cool movies. And then we have the 93 class collection, Dennis Nedry with the Velociraptor. And that seems to be it for this Target. Again, they have things thrown around everywhere. Uh, kind of goes against my comment that they have things pretty clean here. But um, yeah, look look at this shelf over here. What a mess. Oh, this is cool. I didn't see this. We have ourselves the Joker and Punchline. Now, I haven't read much about Punchline. I'm kind of behind, really behind on my comics. But she's an interesting character. I kind of like her. All right, that seems to be it. All right, let's wrap up in the car and head home and take a look at what we got. Okay, before we head home and check out the toys we got, Let's do a quick little recap. Starting off with Ross and Downey. That Ross was interesting because uh, Ross and Southgate didn't really have much Jurassic except for the Imaginex, which I wasn't really into. So when I went to the Ross and Downey and I found those pop-ups and I found the Fierce Changer, that was exciting. I, I really liked that so much that I picked them up. I'm going to take a look at them uh, in a little bit. And next up, we had Burlington also in Downey. Burlington was a desert. They had almost nothing Jurassic, not even the Pyroraptors that we saw a, a few weeks ago. So like Ross, I'm going to set that store aside and come back in, a two, in two weeks and see what has changed. Uh, then we went to Walmart and Downey. 
Walmart and down there, yes, they have the dreaded glass, that glass, and they don't help you when you need it. Uh, but still, I like going there for grocery shopping. So uh, when I do go, I like to stop by the toy aisle just to see what they got. Um, anyways, what they had was a lot of chaos theory, but they had one that really stuck out to me. It was a Jurassic World Dominion Genio Dectoceras. The reason it stuck out to me was um, it hasn't sold. It's been there like almost every time that I come, I see it there. And the toy doesn't look defective. The box looks okay. I don't see what's wrong with the toy, so I don't know why people aren't buying it. I'm almost tempted to pick it up just to pick it up. I'm not going to, but I'm almost tempted to. But uh, yeah, it's kind of sad seeing that Genio Dectoceras is sit there anyways lastly we have target here in norwalk i know i said the shelves were pretty well maintained but uh when we went they didn't really have that well maintained <laughs> shelves but it's still they had quite a bit of jurassic selection and it was cool seeing all the toys there even though it was a bit of a mess i know that they have a, a lot of ben packs at target but they don't have darius so darius seems to be selling out pretty fast I wonder why people aren't buying Ben. I wonder if they're waiting for the Sukumimus pack uh, that comes with Ben. I'm not sure. But that was a lot of fun uh, doing their toy hunt. Now let's head home and check out the things we got. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's hunt. It wasn't that hot today, so it was an enjoyable hunt. I got some things that I want to take a look at, so let's get on into it. First things first, from the Jurassic World Dominion, we have this. It got a Tesaurus uncaged from Mattel. I was going through my collection. I gave it a once over. And I believe that I do not have this one in my collection. As you can see, the regular price is $12. And at Ross, I paid $2.99. Honestly, I prefer Snap Squads to uh, these um, uncaged. As uh, Snap Squads, they're just cute when they hang off things. These are kind of, I don't know, they're kind of boring. But I like, to, I like them for collectible reasons. I mean, I mean, the action is boring, but the figures themselves are kind of cute. That Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. Next up, we have an Atrociraptor here for the Uncaged line. This one, I believe, is called Ghost. This is one of them that you see in Chaos Theory. You see them in, um, in Dominion. Well, obviously, you see them in Dominion because it's Jurassic World Dominion. And anyways, this is how you play with them. You press down on them. They kind of squat down and then they just pop up. That's pretty much all they do. That's why I prefer the, the the snap squads to these. But again, I like the design of these dinosaurs. I just wish they did something else. Lastly, and by something else, I mean they did a different action. Anyways, lastly, we have the Therizinosaurus. Is it? Yeah, the Therizinosaurus. This one took me a while to identify because... I did not know it was a Therizinosaurus. I forgot to play with these. It, when you uh, make them go down, their eyes close. But I'm not taking these off, off the card because I like to hang these on my wall. And that's the reason I am not opening these. I, I'm, I looked it over my collection and, and I'm pretty sure I don't have any of these in my collection. So that was a great find. I'm glad I went to Ross. And I think it was at the same Ross we found this. Fierce, yeah, it was the same Ross. Jurassic World, Fierce Changers, Velociraptor. The dinosaur transforms into an egg. And I think, I'm pretty sure I already have this in my collection. Yes, I do. I just wanted to take a quick look-see. Anyways, these are kind of interesting. Uh, I got it mostly because they turn into eggs. And I like, I like to collect Jurassic World eggs. There's some classic uh, eggs from like the retro vintage lines that I'm like, I wish I could have those in my collection. <laughs> I like collecting eggs. Anyways, this dinosaur turns into an egg and that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at the front. How much did I pay for this? Oh, I also paid $2.99 for this. I want to open this, but at the same time, I don't want to open it. Uh, I don't have a solid reason as to why I don't want to open it. Uh, I feel like I might want to give this away or or... I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm getting a little tired. I'm out of it. I'm getting delirious. I get delirious. Anyways, I'm your host, Jay Quinzel. I hope you enjoyed today's toy hunt. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe. I will greatly appreciate that too. 
Once again, I'm your host, Jake Quinzel. When you got to go, you got to go. So run to the bathroom. Bye.